how many two-digit numbers are multiples of five? Now, this is an easy problem. There's probably multiple ways to do it. I'm just going to show you two because this is really, really easy. But let's test your counting skills because all of these counting skills are going to come together and help you solve some more harder counting problems. So just think about this. How many two-digit numbers are multiples of five? First, you can just use counting as in lists. Just write a list starting from 10 because we are using two digit numbers. 10, 15, 20, 199, all the way up to 90, and 95. You can divide by five to get a list that's counting by ones. Just gonna write divide by five here so you kinda see how we're changing the lists. Gives two, three, four, and eighteen and nineteen. So finally, we subtract one from each of the numbers from this list, yielding one, two, three, and then it's pretty clear. But there are 18 two-digit numbers that are multiple of five. So write 18 here. Or mental calculation works as well. Like you, you could just think, well, 10, 15, 20, 25. You could think about it, well, 10 and 15, basically their group of the 10s, and then 20 and 25, their group of the 20s. So basically for every 10 in the 10 and 90 group, there are two multiples of five, so there's nine tens. Each one of those tens own basically two multiples of five, so it's two times nine, which gives another 18. Now, if you're a beginner and you don't know any of this like advanced stuff, or it looks easy when it's used on this sort of problems, but I mean, these sort of problems, but sometimes it's kind of hidden. But anyways, so if you're a beginner, you can just count. Like, it's, I mean, there's, it's not like there's so many two digit multiple side, you can just go like 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. I mean, it may sound tight, but it better works, right? It, it does work. There's like only 18 numbers you have to count. You like just keep track of them, like in our fingers, even that, that even works as well. So there's like many, many counting problems to solve this, but they all give the same answer, 18.